Hello, faith leaders, and welcome to Break Time. We are in Philippians chapter 1, verse 20, and it says this, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death. And then he's going to go on and talk about life and death. But the amazing thing is, no matter what happens, he says, I'm hoping that I'm not ashamed. I just want to hit that word because a shame, shame and Christians sometimes go well together. Now, I'm not going to hit the, the part of when sin brings shame. I'm going to talk about Christ bringing shame into your life to where you're, you are ashamed of Christ. Have you ever, have you ever been in that place where you found yourself that instead of being, you, you hear the Holy Spirit saying something. But instead of speaking for Christ or allowing Christ to use you as this vessel of courage, you find yourself ashamed of knowing God. You know, and it's, it's, it's such a fine line. We can make all kinds of excuses why we don't speak up for Christ. Well, I just can't share Christ in my workplace. Really? Who really said that? Now, I'm not saying you carry your Bible and throw it on the desk and use scriptures all the time i mean you just but what i am saying is that you're allowing yourself to be a vessel for christ where you stand up for the things that are morally correct you don't bow to the temptations that are facing you in the competitive world of your workplace whatever it looks like for you you know as well as i know the places that i sometimes am a little embarrassed to say I know Christ. I know Christ. Something, wouldn't you love to get past the place where there was no shame of being a Christian? That you you would boldly say, yes, I am a believer in Jesus Christ. And here's, and, and, and so therefore your activity, people can tell you're a believer by what you say, by what you do. There's, there's no division. It's not one day you decide that you're going to be courageous for Christ and the next day very silent because you're almost ashamed. If somebody knew that you were a Christian, then what? Then what? It's almost like Christ is an embarrassment. And this is what Paul was saying. He's not going to be ashamed. No matter what happens to him, he prays that he'll always have the courage to be bold and courageous. Be very courageous. That's you and me. That we need to be courageous no matter where God finds us. That's the place that he wants to use us. And when we bow to this um, being intimidated or being shameful, or it's so sad because Christ can't have access when we're shameful of who he is. Isn't that sad? But you know what, believers? Be very cautious because it's a really thin line. Are you walking on that thin line where one day you're all in, the next day you're not? Because it's, you know, you're a little embarrassed of, you know, what others might think or if you if you walk out in this bold, courageous part of your life that, that God is just waiting to bust through. Oh, I pray no matter where God finds you, that is his place to be courageous. Have a great day.